Hi guys, so today I am showing you how to make Eddie's cast from it. I had made one, this is the one I just made today, but I had already made one, which is a little bit smaller than this one, a few weeks ago. And I had posted this on Twitter and I literally got so many freaking shares and likes on it that I decided that I should make a video on it. And when I posted the, the thing on Twitter about if I should, all of you guys said yes. So I had made a second one right here, and um, this is the end of me doing it. Like I said, I, I already had recorded it, and I'm doing the intro now. But I wanted just to tell you guys how fun it is to make this, but how affordable it is to make this. It is literally made out of a cereal box, gauze, glue. There is no paper mache, and what I like about that is because I had tried paper mache, and it got really soggy, and I couldn't get it off my arm and it just fit too tight. And if you're using this for Halloween or even a convention for cosplay, which is what I'm using it for, you want it to easily be taken off your arm. So, this can go on your arm like it is on me, if you guys can see, and it can easily slide right off. Now, I think I mentioned that in the video, but I'm not really sure, is you wanna make this a little bit bigger than your arm because of all the gauze and tape that's on the inside right here, it is gonna get a little tight on your arm, so making it just a little bit bigger than your arm is gonna be awesome. This is also really affordable. It depends on how much gauze you get and how much tape. I already had the duct tape, so I didn't have to pay for it, but a roll of duct tape goes for like two to three dollars, depending on where you, where you get it. I got white, just so I didn't have to worry. I already had white, so I just used the white one that I had. You can use any color, but you may have to put more gauze on it. Now for the gauze, gauze can range anywhere from a dollar to six dollars, depending on how big or how much you get. I got two medium sized ones, just cause I wanted to see the roll, like the little lines of, of it in there, cause Eddie's has that on it. But you can also get the big one and probably not have to roll it like around as much. You'll see in the video when I'm doing it. But, the only thing that you have to do glue related is glue down the last piece, which mine is right around here somewhere. Um, and I used a quick spray of Mod Podge spray just to kind of give it a more of a like thicker texture, I guess. I don't even know a rougher texture on the gauze. So it wasn't like soft gauze. You can still kind of see that I probably should have done another coat when I'm writing on it because it does pull on the gauze when you write on it a little bit. But I really enjoyed the way this turned out, and if you use a cereal box like I did, then something you probably already have. This can um, can go if you have the, I already had the Sharpies and stuff on me, I didn't have to buy it, but this literally cost me under $10. Probably under $5, but if you have to buy the tape and stuff, this could cost you under $10. Which, if you get the cranberry shirt that Eddie wears, a fanny pack, and a pair of jeans, you are good. And probably an empty pill bottle for some gazebos, <laughs> which is what I have. So, I'm going to just get right into this video and show you guys how I did this. Um, the arm that I used is Eric's arm, but I'm probably just going to time lapse it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stick to the end and please subscribe to me if this is your first time watching. So, let's get into the video. Project, you're gonna need cardboard. I just picked one that was a cereal box. You can use any cardboard. I just like this because it's thin. Duct tape. Um, I got the white kind just because I already had it and it helps better, but any duct tape you have will do. Gauze, this is gauze left over from the first one that I did, but they were roughly like a dollar a piece. I just got the smaller rolls, but it's whatever. Scissors. Um, a red sharpie, a black sharpie, and also a glue gun. Mine's currently heating up, so that's why it's not here. And I have a lovely model, so I can make it easier on just filming. But I have an arm, and this is Eric. The rest of this is probably going to be either time-lapsed or voiced over, just so it's not super, super long. But this is why I picked the cereal box because it's roughly the length or a little bit longer than Eric's arm so I know that it's gonna fit and it's really easy to roll. So that's what I'm gonna do first. So I'm gonna flip it on the side that has the marking on it, put Eric's arm down on it, and just mark where I want.
Okay, so we have the base right now. Um, what I did was I made it a little bit bigger than his arm because with all the tape and all the gauze getting folded into it, you want some room. And I made it slightly taller because when you put your thumb in, sometimes it might fall differently. So then that's when you saw me trim it a little bit. Um, right now, I just put the white duct tape to hold it together. Now I'm going to do a couple of layers of white duct tape, which is going to mean that you don't have to do... Um, what's the I literally just said it. You don't have to do... Um, Paper mache, that's the word. Pa you don't have to do paper mache if you do a couple of rolls of duct tape. But also, if you want to do paper mache with the gauze or even newspaper, putting down the duct tape as one layer first prevents the cardboard from getting um, soggy. Um, I might be doing like a top coat of like Mod Podge like setting spray just so it kind of sets all of the gauze in. But this is going to be a full tutorial not using anything to do with paper mache because no one has time to wait for that stuff to dry. So what I'm going to do is have Eric lift his arm and I'm going to wrap this. So we have the first layer of gauze, you guys can see. I'm going to take a little bit of tape to tape it down. Normally I would glue it, but I don't feel like getting up to glue it. So what I'm going to do is just tape it down and roll. You'll want it to be a little bit above the seam because you're going to fold it in and glue it in later. You want it to be a little bit bigger and the gauze just completely unrolled. That's fun. Yay.
Okay, so if you guys can see, I just taped it. I'm gonna go over there and glue it. And while I have it over there and glue it, I'm gonna fold everything in here and glue it in also. And yeah, um, I'm gonna, once everything is glued down, I will be back. Okay, so everything is glued down, if you can see here. And I'm gonna find my spot, I have a spot. Where's my, there you go. Um, everything is glued down, like I just said, and I spray painted, I did a quick mist with, um, a Mod Podge top coat kind of thing. It's basically what you'd use to, like, seal photos. I just did a quick mist on it so it can give this a little bit of texture when I write on it. You don't have to, the gauze will just stay soft, but I don't know if you guys can hear. It's got this, like, tacky, not tacky, but, like, it feels solid even though it's not it just kind of has this top kind of coat to it um this like rough texture it doesn't feel like it's soft gauze or anything like that so that's what i like about doing that the first one that i did didn't i don't know if you guys can hear but it's very soft um so i did it on this one and i'm really glad i did because it actually really added to it if you guys can see that's what it looks like, and I'm going to do the fun part, which is drawing the letters. So I pulled up a photo on my phone, just for reference, so I can get it as good as possible. I put a dot in where it falls on my arm when I wear it, for where the middle is, and that's where I'm going to put the S first and just kind of work my way out, just so it's easier. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I have my Sharpie, so yeah. Okay, there we go. The first time I did it, if you guys can see, I completely messed up on putting it center. But, um, and this one is also a little bit smaller. I made it slightly bigger, just so it fits a little bit better on my arm. So it is a little bit longer, because I kind of want it to cover up my tattoo. Uh, I'm not gonna get it in frame. But I have a tattoo right here, there we go. So I wanted that to cover this up a little bit. So I did make it slightly longer. But there you go. That is my Eddie from It's Loser Lover Cast Tutorial. A lot of you guys asked for this on Twitter, so here it is. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to me down below if you haven't already. And if you do make this, please tag me on my social media. Again, the link down below and show me how you made your cast. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.